Ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, everybody. Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas welcoming you to Boardwalk Hall at the famed Atlantic City Boardwalk in southern New Jersey for tonight's main event. Three rounds in the heavyweight division. This should be a good one tonight. Both fighters say they are primed, coming off a very intense and passionate training camp. Mike Tyson's ring walks have been known as circus spectacular. But yet, with all that, to him, it's a moment of extreme attention. Muhammad Ali is on his way to the ring right now, and you can see how excited he is for this one. Lots of confidence. Introducing first, in the blue corner, by way of Brooklyn, Iron Mike Tyson! His adversary, fighting out of Louisville, the greatest of all time, Mohamed! Remember, guys, obey my commands at all times. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch him up. Well, they've been waiting for this moment, and now they get it. Round one underway. <laughs> faced a lot of powerful big punchers in his day, but Tyson hasn't faced a heavyweight as fast and as skilled as Ali. No, or as determined as Ali, or a guy who doesn't make silent agreements. And what I mean by that, you know, Tyson's been in a lot of fights where he's been the boss, and where he's gotten inside, you know, he's gotten in there and he's put his hands behind the guy on the inside sometimes. I watched him, and he didn't punch. And the guy just grabbed onto him. And they made like a silent agreement. You don't hit me, I won't hit you. You know, Ali's not going to make that agreement. Ali's going to stay on the outside, and he's going to make Tyson work. He's going to make him earn this fight. And if there's a little bit of a tear in the makeup of Tyson, well, look for Ali to open it up. Here's a moment here as you see the step-back counterpunch where you realize this is the sweet science, not just some raw savagery swinging out there. Look at the little subtleties here, Joe. What he does is he forces him into a position to stop the punch. And then when he stops, steps back, makes the miss, and comes right back. This is great action right from the start. What an opening round between these two. Yeah! Final 10 seconds of round number one. The exchange was something special. Yeah, you're letting him work. You're letting him control this fight. I don't know. I don't. You know. You, you got to impose your will on him. You need to take it to this guy. You're stronger and you punch harder than this guy. All right. Nice work, kid. Good job there, Brad. Real nice. Don't waste energy. Don't waste energy, but I want you to keep those hands moving. Watch the water in the corner. Come on. And we are back underway. Another round in a fight that's been very entertaining, but I wouldn't want to be a judge. This is one of those fights that could go either way. And a good three-punch combo by Muhammad Ali. There he is from long range using that jab. Joe, if you're on the outside, say at a picnic, you want to keep those insects away, you use 
insects repellent. While well, you're on the outside as a fighter, you want to keep your opponent away? That jab, that's the way to go. Keep working the body. And that had some bite to it, that right hand by Muhammad Ali. Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counterpunching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make him miss, make him pay. Well-targeted left hand by Mike Tyson. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. He scores with the jab there. Mike Tyson's defense let him down that time. He got caught by a well-targeted counterpunch. One, two. One, two. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Muhammad Ali. Right to the body. A power shot lands and all of a sudden it turns the tables. A little slow with that jab, and he got caught the right hand. Jump on it, jump on it right there. Good job. Round comes to an end here. Glad you've joined us, ringside. Joe Tessator alongside Teddy Atlas on another. Night at the Fights, we're with you all year long, every step of the way, as is our crew. And the guys just don't get enough credit sitting back there in the production truck, but they make all this happen, Teddy. Yeah, they do, of course. Rick, Robbie, Mike, all you guys, Brian, Scott, Russ. We appreciate you doing all the difficult work while we get a chance to sit out here and uh, enjoy the fun part. And by the way, you guys, after we just said that, you guys are picking up the tab tonight. One more time, the last round has arrived. What an intense hook landed by Muhammad Ali. Good scoring shot, it was a straight right. Well, if ever you wanted to explain to somebody the benefits of distance while fighting, this is a perfect example by what we're seeing out of him on the outside. Well, you know, so many times I see tall guys, and what the heck's the sense of being tall if you don't know how to fight tall? He knows how. Very accurate with the overhand right. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Ali's jab can do so much there. He used it well that time. Uppercut by Tyson. Ali's getting back to basics. A good, solid jab. Ali with a right hand. Ali's feeling the impact of that powerful hook. And now committing to that midsection as the target with the combination punching. Look at that hand speed with the hook from Ali. Ali's left now getting into the mix. He scores with the jab there. You know, Joe, a lot of times you think about a jab being used by an outside guy, but to get inside, you need a cover. And there, right there, was the cover. Well, they go the full 12 rounds. Now, let's send it up to the ring announcer to get the decision. The judges have reached a unanimous decision. Your winner, the greatest of all time.